So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video and today guys, I bring you a live run through of what has to be the best or one of the best XP farms in this game without a shadow of a doubt. When Blizzard nerfed these dungeons, I believe they forgot about this one. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so this dungeon is called Demon's Wake. It's located right near the fire break mana waypoint you can see right here on the map guys now this place is unbelievable i'm just gonna run it with you alive guys on my video yesterday we actually covered this initially people were still confused and how you get this down efficiently uh it's quite easy but also guys be warned you're watching me on my newly created uh necromancer build nowhere near perfect yet i'm getting there but there's still so much I need to do with it. So yeah, you guys run this with a build that can take out mobs easy. You're going to run it way more efficiently than me and much, much quicker. If you're doing this co-op, it's going to be at least twice as quick as me. If you're doing it a team of three or whatever, it's going to be even crazier. Okay, so the first point, guys, we need to destroy two idols. These are normally on the same path. In fact, every time I've run this, they're always on the same path. So here... To make it efficient, like I said, ignore all the ads. I mean, if you get cornered, oh my days, I hate them, guys. But if you get cornered, obviously do what you got to do. But this is the door you need to come back to. Uh, there's always going to be one way that's a dead end like that there. So we're going to go this way. Now, I always say, if you come across an event, do the event. Will you guys leave me alone now? Then blow it up, guys. Just do my head in. Okay, so here we have one of the uh, things we need to take out. So we're just going to take this out. And is my golem dead already? Ah, that guy. That guy, I am substituting you. Now, I substitute my other minions because I spent most of my time reviving them. Had no use for them. Elite there. Again, if you're in a co-op, take all these out. They're so easy for you to do. But if you're playing solo like me, I'd run past all these because the best part is the second part. But that could be a shrine event if it is, but it's not. But if it is, do it. Always do them events. So I'm just going to run past all these guys. I'm just going to run to that second uh, thing, which is right there. And guys, again, uh, how do you get in there? We go. Take it out. Take it out. Now, obviously, if any enemy that comes around here, you may as well take out too. And this is what my build's actually good for now. You see, there's an elite there. He's getting it. I've actually tried to work on survivability. And I've also tried to work on damage output too, which I've actually got quite good, especially when there's those larger groups of enemies. Now, I've got those two uh, things, so we make our way back to that first door. You guys want some of this, do you? You want some of this? I mean, if you're going to be in my, my way, blocking my way, you're going to get destroyed. There we go. Okay, so make your way back to that first door, which was this way, I believe. This place is always one big maze, as you know. Okay, so this part, guys, there will be like a mini event. Well, sometimes there is, sometimes there ain't. It's normally down here. If there ain't one, it's going to be an elite normally here. Uh, there's an elite here, which is fine. But sometimes it can be a mini event here or an elite. Okay, so the elite's there. So here, guys, what you got to do is you got to slay all these ads. That's what you got to do here. So do it. Do what you got to do. But this is only the first part, people. This is literally only the first part. The next room has got so many ads in it. You probably won't believe me. If you haven't seen this already, you probably ain't going to believe me. Grabbing that. Okay, so in here, guys, you know what I'll do? I won't kill them as I see them. I'll actually run around this room. I'll run around the room so you can see exactly how many there are. And when I say there are hundreds, there are hundreds. And the best thing about this, guys, is there's no boss in here. Oh, my days. There's no boss in, look at all of them following me on the minimap. There's no boss in here. So what we get here, guys, is another extra set of elites that spawn in when you take all these down. So you can just see how many there are. There's unbelievable amounts of ads here. And again, like I said, I do believe when Blizzard were nerfing this fit place, nerfing these dungeons, they forgot about this place. They really did. Okay, so we're going to start taking them out. Again, if you're doing this co-op, you're doing this in a team, um, it's going to be way more efficient. You're going to get this done at least as quick as me. Uh, well, at least as quick as me. At least twice as quick as me. Jesus. 
Maybe when my build's finished and I know exactly what I'm putting with this and I mean, a lot of the armor I've got here isn't perfect. So, yeah, that's one problem I do have. I need to get better armor now because I respect and, uh, you know, I've got a few aspects that are great, but a lot of my armor is dedicated to other things. But it's still, it's a work in progress. That's what we love about Diablo. Getting that perfect build done. Okay, so. You can see that there's so many. I'm going to go back up to that elite, dude. I'm going up to you because you need to go down. As well, guys, there's normally an event in here, which if it happens, do what you got to do and take that out. you got to take part in them events, man. It's just free XP. It's basically just free XP. Especially if your build is good enough as well. Obviously, Farming things like this is all dependent on your build. If your build isn't great, a farms, any kind of farm is just going to be a pain in the ass for you. I don't know what happened there, but I had more ads spawn on me. I don't think I'm anywhere near getting all these cleared out yet, so it ain't for that reason, but hey, we ain't going to complain. Okay, so yeah. Oh, it could have been his chest. That's probably what it was. Which is fair enough. We'll grab that. Oh, another one there. We'll grab that too. Hello. Ooh, and we've got sacred boots. We'll take them. Okay, so we're just going to group up a few of these. And you know what you got to do. Take them down. Oh, we had more ads spawn on me then. No idea why again, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We are not going to complain about ads because we like that through XP. These guys I absolutely hate. If I die in here, it's because of them. Them blow you up dudes. I just can't get away from them. They just track my ass down. Okay, so these little stragglers in the corners are the ones that are probably going to uh, be the most annoying for you. Sometimes they actually come to you. Now, when you actually get to your, uh, the end of this, so there's like 20 ads left, you'll notice that they start actually appearing on you, which is a good thing, which is what we like to see. So you ain't got to run around doing, trying to find them. Could not see that guy then. He must pull out smoke or poison or whatever that is. Okay, so there's more ads here. I mean, it's just endless. The ads are literally endless. Okay, so now we've got 16 remaining. You'll watch that number. It will jump in a second. It will jump and we'll get more. There we go. Just like so. Now, guys, when you take these ones out, you get even more ads. Which is just absolutely madness. It's absolute madness. Hello there. Okay, so, and there we have it, more ads. I mean, what were they, well, this is going to get nerfed. I can absolutely guarantee that. But until it does, you may as well take advantage of it. And there we have, guys, that is the dungeon completed. And that what took me about six and a half, seven minutes. And again, I ran around this entire room at the start, showing you how efficient it can, well, all the ads, but you can do it way more efficient than me. I mean, in a co-op team, you're getting this done multiple times an hour. You're earning upwards of 20 million XP in a team. The more in your team, the merrier. But yes, if you're new to farming dungeons as well, you don't know how to farm them. At this point, when you farm the dungeon, go to your map and leave dungeon. If you're playing solo, that is, or press open your D-pad, left shoulder, leave dungeon. You're then, guys spawn outside of the dungeon door from here you want to leave the game once you're at the main menu join back into the game you'll respawn outside the dungeon door come back in rinse and repeat the farm simple if you're in a party the party host needs to leave the party via this menu here once he does he himself will spawn outside of the dungeon door like teleport there he invites you back to his party you then simply enter the dungeon again repeat the farm simple as that guys but yes there we have it an incredible xp farm by far the best in my opinion and you guys just need to use it while you can guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one